Hi everyone, for our learning about numbers week, I have some great activities for you that use a muffin tin. For the purpose of these activities, I am using the mini muffin matchup math activity set, but you can also use a muffin tin and some items from around the house, such as marbles or Cheerios or some pen and paper. The mini muffin matchup set comes with colorful muffins, dice, activity cards, Squeezy tweezers, which work on fine motor skills, and the muffin tin. Well, one thing you can do is use the place cards and put them in each of the muffin tins. So I have one that has two red muffins. I have one that just has the color green. And I have one that just has the number three. And again, working on these fine motor skills, I am going to find two red muffins and put them in the tin. I'm going to find a green muffin and then I'm just going to count one, two, three muffins and put that in the place that had the number three. I can also roll the dice to see what should go next. So one yellow. I'm going to put that in the first one. I'm going to roll again. Two red. Three red. Kids can also practice sorting, so mix up all of the muffins and then just have them practice putting all of the yellows together, all of the greens together, all of the oranges, the purples, the reds, and the blues. You can also play a game using the dice where you roll. So I got three yellow, so I'm going to remove three yellow muffins from the muffin tin. I'm going to roll again, four blue, one, two, three, four, remove them from the muffin tin. And you would keep on going until all of the muffins are out of the tin. You can also play the same game, but make it a partner game. So one player uses this top row of the muffins and the other player uses the bottom row. The muffins have been shuffled and split evenly, and then they can roll the dice. And I got five orange. So player one would be able to remove five orange pieces from theirs. Then player two would roll, and they only got one green. So they would remove just one green muffin. The idea here is to be the first player to remove all of your muffins from your side of the muffin tin. You can also work on patterns with the muffin tins. So if I have a yellow one, and then two red ones, and then a blue one, then I would repeat that pattern yellow, two reds, and then a blue. You can also use the muffin tins to practice counting with coins. So you could take some post-it notes and for example I could write 11 cents and put it in here and then my child would have to find 11 cents and put it in the correct muffin tin. You can do the same thing with pieces of paper if you were to write 3 minus 1 and then they would have to find two muffins, and that would be the solution to the muffin tin. To continue practicing counting, there is a free resource on the Learning Resources website called How Many, where you count the objects and write the amount in the box. So for example, there's two shoes, so I would count one, two, and then write the number two. Thanks for checking out these muffin tin games. Head over to the Learning Resources website where you can find lots of other ideas for numbers and counting.